Well, good morning, and a good perma shave morning to you. Oh, text message. All right, go ahead. So it's like, uh, I don't know, 3.40 ish in the morning, Saturday morning, which makes it late Friday night, which is good. Working a day shift today. So over on uh, the shaved end, they have on Fridays, they have adjustable Gillette Fridays. So I'm going to play along since this is technically Friday night and uh, with a uh, short handle super adjustable here set on nine. The only acceptable setting there uh, is nine wide open. There's no need to go twist it on that little dial. That's a bunch of marketing. Hoo -ha! You want to twist on something, get a motorcycle you can twist on the throttle. All righty. So in our... Uh, Super adjustable this morning. We're going to use some Swedish steel. These were uh, sent to me, I think, along with the uh, the Parker SRX uh, shavette that I was given here a while back where I think those came from. So like I said, we're going to do a Burma shave. I keep my Burma shave in a little stainless steel mug here because uh, a stainless steel cup here because I use my Burma shave mug for coffee. You can still get these off eBay and uh, kind of neat to have actually. I've got a few of them stored away and I've given a few of them away so it's kind of neat. Now you nostalgic bus will remember that the actual original Burma shave with all the sides down the road and everything if I'm not mistaken that was a uh, brushless cream and then it was brought back later years as a, a soap and it's just a plain soap. It's got a soap smell. It's nothing you know nothing fancy but it's still it's not made anymore it's a vintage soap and i like it it shaves really well so we've got a uh, burma shave bore brush here nice just plain old bore brush and uh, we're also going to use the aqua velvet musk this is i think a very highly underrated aftershave the, the musk is great it's just uh very highly underrated i've actually got uh, some barbasol musk left it's a little different flavor and uh, they don't make the barbersaw musk anymore which is a shame uh, it's just you know to me it's just good stuff so here we go i like to play along in other people's sandboxes because some of those people come over and play in my sandbox so we'll do a adjustable double edge thingy friday get this little face wipe down here as usual with a day shift, I'm off my sleep pattern, so I pop wide awake earlier. Been up for a while, so what do you do when you do that? You, know, you make a pot of coffee and you shave. That's pretty much what you do for that. So here we go. We're going to get us a little lather going here. And Sunday. All right, it doesn't take a whole lot to get us some ladder going you don't got to beat on the soap you don't got to blend the soap but we've already been through that ring it there was a uh, lively discussion so anyway we'll get us a little soap here on our brush and we'll get us a little going on our old bug here. let's see what happens like I said the Burma shave is just a soap scent it's not even like, let's say the Williams, it's actually kind of got that lemony Skeeter candle scent, which is great. It's just a uh, plain old soap scent. Alright, a little more water to it. No reason not to. Because remember, even when you face ladder, the water level is adjustable. We start with a fairly dry brush. Let's get a little lather working up into kind of a paste. And then we'll add water as we go until it gets the consistency we want. Don't need a bowl for this. Want a bowl, get some soup. All righty. Let's see what happens when we have a nice sharp blade. This is a new blade. Oh, uh, let's get those out of the way. Don't got to have those to shave, although it helps loading blades and that kind of stuff.
So, every once in a while, somebody asks about angles on these good old double-edged razors. And it's not hard to find the angle. You want a nice shallow angle. So, over at the shave den, they have what they call, uh, you know, you ride the cap. And what that means is, you can put the cap of the razor, top of the razor, kind of up against your face. And then you roll it down until the blade starts to cut. It's a shallow angle, and that's what you want. You don't want a steep angle. You're more scraping and cutting. Now, as you get into it, you do that kind of stuff without even thinking about it. I don't think about putting the blade on and rolling the razor and everything. You uh, you get to where you just do it because muscle memory or it's just, you know, your technique gets better. You don't think about it. You just do it. It's like driving. You know, you don't think about driving when you're running around. Okay, I'm going to turn the wheel a little bit and yada yada whatever. You just drive down the road. But shaving's that way too. It's a learned skill. And once you learn it, your technique will take care of you and you do it without thinking. But especially if you're starting out, if you want to see if you have the correct angle, ride the cap and keep the cap kind of in touch with your face. You don't want to sit here and, and uh... and do whatever. It's a good way to learn. Proper angle, which will help with all your shades. too bad but Burma shave is just not a bad soap it's just a basic soap so it's good stuff oh I'm dragging a little bit this morning it is gonna be a long 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 day at work I got a big thunderstorm yesterday afternoon so it's possible to get more today that time of year down here, little afternoon thunderstorms build up. I never know when they're gonna come around. So that could add some fun to the day. That would be George Jones and Tammy Wynette playing in the background. Uh, all right, Get a little angle thing going. Very smooth blade. No doubt these uh, Swedish blades are nice and smooth. Is it any better than the dollar store blade I normally use? I don't think so. Well, he's like that nice long stroke all the way down the chin there for the little, little across the green action. I use a lot of short strokes, but when everything's going good and the soap's good and slick, there's absolutely no need not to stretch out a little bit sometimes. Alright. Remember your skin stretching on this kind of stuff. You can definitely be rewarded with better shades when you practice your skin stretching. It's not just a straight razor thing. Go ahead and clean this lip up. This particular razor is uh, one of the first double-edged razors, one of the first safety razors I ever shaved with, one of the first razors, period, I ever shaved with. It was uh, in the medicine cabinet as I was growing up. So when I started shaving, which was at about, I don't know, 13-ish, somewhere around there, it was there. So I've been using it off and on since then. That's uh, quite a spell. So. I never asked my dad if this was his. I didn't know him that well. 
and I never asked him if that was his, but I'm guessing that this one was his because there was also a lady in Gillette that I've always figured was mom's. And um, I've still got that razor also. It's great having family stuff. Uh, it's just great. I've got a razor that was my grand one of my grandfathers and my other grandfather. I've got an old shave brush that was his. I've got a, a, a shave mug and a shave brush that was a great uncle of mine. And it's just really neat. So uh, for our cleanup as usual, just regular witch hazel. Just generic, cheap, drugstore, whatever brand witch hazel. No need really for the expensive stuff. If you want to buy the Thayer's that sent it or you want to buy the Dickerson witch hazel, whatever. Uh, the cheaper witch hazel is actually a preparation that has alcohol in it too. And I'm, uh, I'm okay with that because I'll use you know, alcohol splashes. So I don't have any problems with it. But... You want to get the expensive stuff, knock yourself out, enjoy it. Nothing wrong with it. Go back and do a little touch up here in places we normally do. Although, not a whole lot of need in it. Make sure you got that lip cleaned up. That's important. All right, so there we go. Burma shave day. No rant day. Because I'm about half asleep. But I wanted to show off the Burma shave a little bit. I think I've probably shaved with it before, but I know that some people that come through looking at stuff haven't gone back and looked at the older stuff. So, uh, you know, we'll do things over sometime. And plus, we get to play along with the Gillette Adjustable Friday over at the Shave Den. Shave Den's a great place if you'd like to know more about, uh, you know, they do all the different razors. They do straight razors. They've got the single-edge injector razors. They've got double-edge razors. If you want to know more about the single edge and injector razors, which is what's my big thing and what I normally shave with, come over to Toast. That's the original safety two, the number two dot com. It's all one word, original safety two dot com. All we do is single edge. Single edge all the time. That's us. Come over to the sharp side. SC, you know, stands for superior equipment. Just how it is. So come see us sometime. I'm gonna get my Aqua Velva musk on after I grab a shower probably it's time to get ready to go to work. Hope you have a good day I'm sure I will and we'll see you next time. Happy Chase